it's an interesting concept in terms of the lens that we look at our cities and it's probably the most holistic view that you can have on how cities should develop and, develop and continue to respond to the challenges that are emerging in our economic and social realities that we're facing. The technology element of it used to be such a, a fundamental part of what we needed to do and needed to address in terms of the digital divide. Uh, the community that I came from was very much a, a mixed urban and rural environment, so I was able to see the challenges from both sides of things. And then transitioning into a large urban environment, I realized that the actual social challenges that were being faced weren't that dissimilar, and yet the ICF's model actually addressed those challenges very effectively in both contexts. So. Over the course of the last 15 years and really digging deep into the subject matter, I've been able to see the impact that following through and, and pursuing those six different indicators can have on a community in a very positive manner. Because the framework or the model actually touches on so many elements of the community, it's fairly easy to find a win for each of those organizations. It may not be the same thing across all of them. There certainly could be some community social value that resonates with everyone, but being able to find something that's very specific, for instance, in the knowledge workforce section that could be dealing with post-secondary in industry or in dealing with digital inclusion in a not-for-profit type of organization that you're working to engage with, it, it can appeal to all of them in a way that is uh, very unique to a lot of models that you would see. I just encourage people to actually learn a lot more about that model and to realize that you know the technology is a given and elevating that conversation in their communities to be why we need to do these things and really focusing on the impact that it will have on society.